Hello the guys, welcome to Dino's World, welcome to another spontaneous vlog. Today I unbox my brand new helmet, the AGV K5S. Now, what made me choose this helmet? What were the options and what does this helmet have on offer? That's exactly what we are here, here to find out. So without further ado, let's do the honors and let's uh, get started with the unboxing. The box looks nice and premium. First of all, let me tell you, I picked this up from Dynamic Riders, a store owned by my very good uh, friend and biker brother. Uh, I had just, uh, you know, uh, you know, attended the inaugural event of the new place where uh, they've launched this kind of a cafe, bikers cafe, and the accessory store, uh, Dynamic Riders. You can look them up on Instagram. And uh, everyone knows here in Hyderabad, and Varun Naidu is uh, like a brother to everyone, biker brother to everyone. Very sweet person. Uh, the best brands with the best deals and uh, this is not a paid uh, kind of a promotion or anything i've known him for quite some time i know other uh, you know gear uh, accessory store owners as well so it's all one community mutual respect for one another that's what defines the biking community here in hyderabad there's no such competition or rivalry happening that's so uh, okay is that it how do you open this Ah, there you have it. Let me put this aside. Let's savor this moment. Wow. So this retails for around four seventy nine or four ninety nine dollars. <laughs> I, you know, surprised those who were hoping that it was rupees. You can never expect an AGV helmet in that price range. So this is around four seventy nine or four ninety nine dollars on Revzilla, uh, which amounts to around going by the dollar rate uh, given today. It's around uh, 34 to 35 grand. But uh, wow, this is a good premium cover that we get here. In this, apart from that, uh, let's see what all do we get. We get a pin lock. We get a pin lock anti fog visor, fog resistant, which is really, really uh, essential if you are uh, touring. Uh, so that's that's a major add-on that's included as standard and then you have this uh, chunky booklet from agv and you have the agv sticker as well so last time i got the agv k3 sv as a gift from a friend it's around two and a half years old now i think so and you can't expect <laughs> gifts every time uh, you have to you know upgrade the helmet when it needs to be done that's what i believe in so let's open this up wow looks i love this color and the graphic this is the 2021 graphic edition so it's very hard to find original agv helmets uh that to the latest model range so glad uh, i mean varun uh, got the supply and uh, <laughs> believe it or not it just flew off the shelves i don't think he has even a single unit left now currently at his store but he also deals with bell helmets and other affordable helmets. You can check that out. But look at the graphic here. I absolutely love the graphic. You have AGV mentioned has this kind of a red. Wow. Sporty graphic. And uh, the first impression, it is very, very well built. Now, going by the uh, specs and features, uh, the shell is carbon composite as well as fiberglass. It's an integration of both. So it's very lightweight and very strong and sturdy. It's an improvement over the standard K5 that we used to, uh, we used to get. And you have a lot of vents here. We have the chin vents here. You have the top vent here, central top vent. Then you have these two uh, integrated vents on top for better air channeling. The clicks from these uh, you know, vent blockers also looks good. Also, you have... Uh, the exhaust vents here which channel the air out of the helmet you can also you have controller to open and close this so that's really cool so this is what's you know screams value you have a rare spoiler here and uh, most importantly uh, of course it is DOT ECE certified now don't ask me for ISI certification uh, but uh, we all respect uh, our government's decisions but uh, here is the AGV branding and uh, this is uh, 
the Shalimar, uh, uh, you know, liner, which is a premium brand uh, liner that has been included for the K5S specifically when compared to the K5. And you can feel it. You can feel immediately the premium feel that the inner liners have got and the, everything, the strap. And I was looking for a double D-ring strap. Now, double D-ring strap is the safest buckle mechanism or buckle, I'm sorry, the strapping mechanism when compared to a buckle mechanism uh, that makes sure that the helmet, you know, stays put on your head even when the crash impact happens and uh, even the, you know, adverse or the worst of crashes happen, the double D-ring strap can withstand maximum, you know, force from the crash uh, to ensure that it just uh, the helmet doesn't fly away from your head so this is one thing so i always prefer prefer and recommend double d-ring strap helmets and uh, this is uh, yeah, again as i told you shalimar uh, liner it is moisture wicking and uh, anti microbial antibacterial uh, liner super premium and you have these kind of reflectors here special and uh, you know uh, cervical region or neck padding here the neck roll here is uh, far more pronounced now chin curtain is made up of again very premium foam and quality so what this does and how it helps motor vloggers is it keeps a lot of sound outside a sound at bay it doesn't uh, it makes sure the helmet is quiet because the foam is of premium quality and soundproofing happens really effectively with good quality foam and uh, apart from that the inner liner you can see i'll try and open it up to you this is how it looks on the inside hope you get a good view and hope the camera doesn't uh, miss the focus so uh, the air channeling and the foam quality everything seems uh, premium you also get uh, dedicated uh, you know cushioning extra cushioning extra bit of padding for the comm systems uh, which can be uh, you know utilized or removed if you want to install comm uh, system in uh, i mean a bluetooth intercom system inside the helmet uh, but apart from that uh, let's check the fit now and a few things you need to keep in mind while buying the helmet first thing is the double d-ring strap then the shell construction which is really really crucial the anti bike uh, antibacterial and uh, uh, antimicrobial uh, liner moisture wicking liner and also this is hydrophobic uh, because uh, the uh, material used is such it's a hydrophobic uh, thing that keeps water away uh, yeah one more thing is you also get a first of all this is a clear uh, visor multi-stage visor so that i'll show it to you in a moment and it is eyewear compatible that's another thing eyewear compatible so people who wear specs so this is eyewear compatible that's another major plus plus you have this uh, drop down sunglass or sun shades of premium quality so this is another major plus now let's try and put this on it has to be a snug fit and always wear a balaclava is what i you know suggest this is medium and it is an absolute snug fit i think it will break in and set into proper you know fit for me over the course of usage uh, but when you move your head up and down the helmet should not move either ways that is the way you check your fit uh, for your helmet uh, the size for your helmet because if it moves around when you move your head there's every possibility that the fit is loose and when there's a crash god forbid uh, the helmet will just fly away it will not stick and will not put or serve the purpose so always a snug fit helmet is what i recommend the just previous helmet that i used to have was large it was okay when i first used it but with usage it eased out and started becoming a little loose so that uh, started feeling a little uncomfortable when i was doing 200 plus speeds but uh, this one is going to stick and it's going to stay it is a little tight now uh, the cheek padding and everything is really good cheek pads are of very good quality but uh, with time i think it's going to ease out and uh, set into place and that's what i prefer and uh, here you can see the side view the top view and uh, the visor you have different staged visor see you can lock it up in different stage as per your wish so that is one thing i like about agv helmets 
and you can put it completely or you can kind of open it up slightly for a little bit of air channeling or you can close it up completely so so much of uh, versatility and usability with this helmet and it screams quality and i absolutely loved it i just fell in love with it the first time i saw it i, I like the graphic i like the build quality i like the features i said let's pick this up so for now this is going to be my helmet you can usually people recognize me with my helmet uh, wherever i used to go in hyderabad and now this is the helmet you can recognize me with the red agv k5s now let's actually test it out in real world conditions take it out for a short spin Okay guys, so I'm back from my first ride wearing my new AGV K5S helmet. So how does it fare in real world conditions? First of all, uh, the shell is made up of uh, predominantly carbon fiber. So it is extremely lightweight and that's one thing I like. The aerodynamics are perfectly sorted out. I used it on my MT as well as my Daytona and uh, this one really uh, is a versatile helmet that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis you can enjoy on a super sport you can enjoy on a track you can also go touring on this because it doesn't wear you down uh, after a while uh, because it's not too heavy and the neck roll is of very good quality here the liners are of premium quality and uh, it's very quiet in here because of the extra padding and the extra foam uh, that's been used all around the Shalimar liners are absolutely super premium and perfectly complement the mid-range uh, you know uh, the pricing and the vents are all uh, adjustable now I couldn't you know vlog on the go because I don't have my motor vlog set up uh, you know uh, ready on this helmet as of yet so I'll be setting that up soon uh, you also have these uh, chin vents with a hidden uh, yeah you can see so you have a uh, you know uh, the adjuster inside so it's all cleverly managed and the chin curtain also is of premium quality so overall i like the fit and finish i like the lightweight nature of the helmet that's what i personally prefer and that's what i recommend such that it doesn't uh, cause you pain or uh, neck problems over a period of time when you're uh, especially you know doing long distance touring or long distance riding <coughs> but uh, overall the visor is really good it's easily adjustable with different settings and also the sunglass visor uh, the secondary visor inside uh, is of good quality and really does a good job so you don't really need a smoked visor on this because you have the shades inside and uh, the clear visor really does the part uh, on a regular uh, you know travel basis especially at night i would rec recommend only using clear visors because it hampers the visibility and also you also have the pin lock visor to negate any kind of foggy conditions that you might be uh, coming across while you know starting out a little early uh, when you're touring so that's the verdict i absolutely love it's absolute pure value uh, for the money it demands and i'm so glad i found the right choice of helmet for my uh, next few uh, months or years of commute up ahead so thanks for watching i just hope you found this video useful i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and ride safe meanwhile this helmet goes right in the slot where it belongs